Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thanks for joining me. Today I get to share with you a project for Gerda Steiner Designs and we're using a brand new stamp set over at the shop. This is called Moose Love and it is adorable. It's four by six stamp set and there's a customizable sentiments in here. Oh my gee. Um, it Moose Be Love. It Moose Be Your Birthday. <laughs> and I really like the one that says Merry Kiss Moose. <laughs> and so that's what we're going to make a Christmas card today. So we're going to break out the Misty, the mini Misty. The images in the stamp set are pretty large. And so um, this is going to help me with my stamping. I'm going to use Nina 80 pound cardstock. We'll just place a piece in here. And then we'll take um, our moose with the antlers. And then we're going to call this our little girl moose. And then we'll take the mistletoe, put that in there, and I think they're going to fit on there beautifully. We're going to close the lid, pick up our images, and ink them up with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. It's an alcohol marker or Copic marker friendly ink. Um, the paper is too. And so images in here are so cute. Wait until you see I stamp them, how cute they are. Aren't they cute? Um, the little girl moose is closing her eyes and I thought it'd be cute if she was kissing the boy moose right underneath the mistletoe. So Christmas card um, is what we're going to do today. So I'm going to play a little bit of music while I color and when I'm done coloring I will catch you back. Okay, coloring is all done. Now I'm using my blender pen to clean up my mess ups this time. Usually I use my white gel pen, but the images are so large I can use my blender pen to remove um, where I went outside the lines. I'm going to fussy cut each one of my images out. And you know what? I'm not sure if there are coordinating dies, but there, if there is, I'll link both the stamp set and the dies down below for you guys. Okay, now we're going to build our scene. I'm going to create a frame, of course, <laughs> using two double stitch rectangle dies. And then I'm also going to be using this um, uh, pine needle 
die. Um, it's a border die and it goes great for Christmas. And so I thought we'd create two pine needle borders. I just die cut those out. It, it creates a snowbank effect, but um, I just wanted the, the pine needles on the very bottom of my frame. So we're gonna actually cover that up. But I'll use my tape, add some behind my frame, and then pick up my, um, my pine needles. This way that I have a little bit of pine needle peeking out from the very bottom. Just a little bit enough to give it a Christmassy look. <laughs> I'm going to do the exact same thing to the very top. Just have a little bit of those pine needles peeking out. Uh, and then again, any excess overhanging will just trim off. Okay, we are going to kind of arrange our little scene. I know I wanted my moose towards the left with this antler hanging out. And then we're going to put our little girl moose. Um, right next to him. Um, I'm going to place the entire card front along with my frame and the images in my Misty. This way I know where to position my sentiment. Um, I'm just lining it up. I chose, of course, the sentiment that says Merry Kiss Moose. <laughs> and I was debating on whether using red ink or um, black ink, but opted for the black ink because in the stamp set, there's this itty bitty heart. There's two, uh, two hearts that you can color in, but then one itty bitty one. I love the itty bitty hearts. <laughs> so I'm gonna use that and color it in with red ink. So I thought black would go better. Okay, so we stamped our sentiment directly on our card base. Now we're just gonna remove our images and tack them down using our tape runner. Um, I'm kind of positioning my frame and then tucking my mousse in here. And then I can press on the frame and that way my, my moose will stick. And then I'll do the same thing with the little girl. We're going to put her, her mouth right next to our little boy moose's cheek. <laughs> so cute. Love these images. Okay. I'll just trim off the excess of my girl moose. And then I did the same thing with the antlers in just a little bit, but I'm going to attach my mistletoe up on top and I'm going to go underneath so it's stuck behind the frame. Um, and I think that's going to look really fun. I'll just flip this over. I'm going to trim that off real fast. I'm going to add some foam tape behind my moose and my entire frame. And then, um, We're going to add a little bit of dimension this way. Just trim off some foam tape here. I'll just remove the release paper and then this is going to go directly on our card base. For this card, I'm breaking out the stickles. Usually my stickles are saved for Christmas. I love the, the glittery red stickles for Christmas. So I'm going to bring that in. Um, before we do that though, I'm going to stamp that little itty bitty heart I was talking about earlier. I'm just going to use a red ink and I, I wanted to, I wanted to go crazy with this little red heart, but sometimes I go overboard and I didn't want to ruin my background, but I'm just going to stamp it three times because they are in love. <laughs> so cute. See here, I wanted to stamp it again and I, I was good. Three is the magic number. Okay, um, we're going to grab our stickles, add some to the little berries in our mistletoe. And then after I got this done, I thought, you know, we'll go over our little hearts too. Add a little sparkle to them. Just the itty bitty amount. Um, and I was going to call it done, but I just needed a little more sparkle for this Christmas card just to make it more Christmassy. Um, so I thought we'll bring in some glitter. Uh, and so hindsight, I would have normally did this before I added foam tape behind it and popped it up. Um, but I'm going to add a little glue to my pine needles here. And after I have my glue added, I'm going to go over my, um, my glue with my clear glitter. This is kind of like a chunky glitter. Um, this little tube here, I just picked up at Walmart. I think it was like 88 cents, but it's the perfect wintry glitter color. <laughs> and see, when I filled in my pine needles, it, the glitter wanted to go on the inside of my card base. So I had to vigorously tap, 
tap all that that glitter out but I'll, I'll spare you the tapping and the most of the the removal glitter removal here <laughs> okay I think this is gonna be just lovely I'm gonna pop up my antler with the foam square just to give a little more dimension and then um, all that shaking of the card I think I uh, messed up my berries on my mistletoe so I redid those with my stickles and that completes my card for today guys super cute super fun card I just love the outcome I think the glitter made a difference it looked like snow but thanks so much for stopping by if you're interested in the stamp set I'll leave links down below I wish you a lovely day and we will see you again real soon bye bye